Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen. NASA head flies Electra's EL-2 Goldfinch. FAA approves Joby for Part 141 Flight Academy. And FAA issues TFRs in New Jersey due to questionable drone activity. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. NASA head flies Electra's EL-2 Goldfinch. Outgoing NASA Administrator Bill Nelson flew aboard Electra's hybrid electric EL-2 Goldfinch ultra-short prototype aircraft, experiencing the aircraft's extensive stall capabilities. The flight reportedly marks the first ever by a U.S. government agency head on a next-generation AAM aircraft. The 24-minute flight on Electra's two-seat fixed-wing aircraft showcased its ultra-short capabilities, completing a series of takeoffs and landings with just 150 feet of ground roll made possible by Electra's proprietary blown lift technology. The flight demonstrated both hybrid electric and quiet battery-only operations, with an acoustic signature of just 55 decibels at 500 feet, the equivalent of a normal conversation. Electra Chief Test Pilot Cody Alley piloted the aircraft during the December 8th flight, departing from Electra's headquarters at Manassas Regional Airport. The EL-2 Goldfinch serves as a testbed for Electra's distributed electric propulsion system and blown lift technology, which are being scaled up for the company's nine-passenger EL-9 ultra-short aircraft. With more than 2,100 orders already placed for the EL-9, Electra is leading the charge to bring sustainable air travel closer to reality. After the break, NASA delays man's return to the moon to at least 2027. For over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our Next Gen Minute. NASA delays man's return to the moon to at least 2027. NASA has delayed the Artemis II and Artemis III missions, which were expected to return astronauts to the moon, until 2026 and 2027. The decision was made to allow engineers to continue testing on the Orion crew capsule. The Artemis II mission aims to send astronauts on a 10-day trip to circumnavigate but not land on the moon. Artemis III would follow, marking astronauts' first return to the moon's surface in over 50 years. The two expeditions were originally planned for November 2024 and November 2025, but were previously pushed back to September 2025 and September 2026 in January. Bell validates folding rotor in wind tunnel testing. Bell Textron announced the completion of wind tunnel testing of its stop-fold folding rotor system at the National Institute for Aviation Research at Wichita State University. This testing was in support of the DARPA Speed and Runway Independent Technology Program and follows the successful evaluation of the rotor system using the Holloman high-speed test track in New Mexico in 2023. Augmenting the previous testing, the wind tunnel program validated the stability and control of the aircraft through the rotor fold and unfold sequence in flight. Helicopters Inc. signs deal to purchase 50 EVE eVTOLs. Helicopters Inc. recently signed a letter of intent with EVE Air Mobility to purchase up to 50 of its eVTOL aircraft. The agreement also includes service support and EVE's urban ATM system, Vector. The pair's relationship began in 2022. They utilized one of Helicopter Inc.'s rotorcraft to simulate future eVTOL capabilities. 
Now, EVE and Helicopters Inc. will be teaming up to define the target market, maintenance needs, additional partners, required infrastructure, and other targets to ensure efficient transitions to EV tall aircraft. Call for nominations for 2024 Collier Trophy. NAA has announced the call for nominations for the 2024 Collier Trophy. The NAA's description of the award is this. The Robert J. Collier Trophy is awarded annually for the greatest achievement in aeronautics or astronautics in America, which improved the performance, efficiency, and safety of air or space vehicles, the value of which has been thoroughly demonstrated by its actual use during the preceding year. Any person or group may submit a nomination. The deadline for nomination is January 31, 2025. That's it for our Next Gen Minute. Let's get back to the rest of the news. FAA approves Joby for Part 141 Flight Academy. Joby Aviation announced it has been approved for an FAA Part 141 certificate for its Flight Training Academy, as well as its acceptance into the FAA Part 5 Voluntary Safety Management System. With the Part 141 certificate, the Joby Aviation Academy is able to deliver streamlined pilot training. This will enable the company to efficiently and economically develop its own pipeline of qualified pilots to crew its commercial air taxi operations. The Academy will offer future aviators the opportunity to enroll in the Academy's full slate of courses, including private pilot, instrument rating, commercial pilot, and certified flight instructor. These will prepare graduates for a career at Joby or other air operators. By gaining acceptance into the Part 5 SMS, Joby advances its own safety culture well in advance of its planned Part 135 operations that require the SMS. The SMS for air taxi operators includes developing clear safety policies and procedures, as well as a company culture that prioritizes safety and encourages employees to report safety concerns whether real or perceived. After these messages, FAA issues TFRs in New Jersey due to questionable drone activity. Welcome back. FAA issues TFRs in New Jersey due to questionable drone activity. The FAA has confirmed it issued two temporary flight restrictions in New Jersey covering the U.S. Army's Picatinny Arsenal in Dover and the Trump National Golf Club Bedminster in Somerset County. The restrictions were issued after requests from federal security partners and reports of questionable drone activity near the areas affected. The FBI is said to be investigating the reported sightings of mysterious drone activity over central New Jersey. One restriction covers an area near Solberg Hunterton County Airport, which includes airspace over President-elect Trump's Bedminster property and was to remain in place until December 8th. The other one covering the Picatinny Arsenal will be in force until December 26th. In a joint statement with the New Jersey State Police and New Jersey Office of Homeland Security, the FBI said, quote, witnesses have spotted the cluster of what looked to be drones and a possible fixed-wing aircraft, end quote. The statement added that there are similar reports from both public and law enforcement dating back several weeks. The FAA said in a statement, quote, safely integrating drones into the national airspace system is a key priority for the FAA. We look into all reports of unauthorized drone operations and investigate when appropriate, end quote. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.